Thor Ragnarok has been out for a little while now, so I feel like I can talk about it without worrying that I'm spoiling it for anyone, but just so you know, there'll be Thor Ragnarok spoilers in this video. So the title of this video is The Problem With Marvel. Ooh, how vague. I feel like I've shit on DC movies an awful lot, so I thought I'd try and balance it out a little bit. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what is the problem with Marvel, Jack? You're obviously the authority on this, so please enlighten us with your knowledge, oh wise one. In case sarcasm is a foreign language to you, that was it. I know that I'm not an authority on this, I just have feelings and opinions, and I bet you've got them too. And you know what? It's okay if they're different. Now, if you can cast your mind back to 2012, you'll remember that we got a little film called The Avengers. And there's a scene in that that everyone remembers where Loki is squaring up to Hulk, he's delivering his bad guy monologue, and in the middle of it all, Hulk just grabs him and then smashes him around the room. When I saw that in the cinema, the audience laughed so hard that I didn't hear the next line. I actually didn't know that the Hulk said puny god until I got it on Blu-ray. The reason why that moment works so well is because it's playing with our expectations. I'm not saying it's the first film to do anything like that obviously it isn't but it was certainly like the first superhero movie to do something that self-referential and meta and that moment i think started a little trend in marvel movies now they have this attitude of we'll make fun of ourselves before anyone else does iron man 3 expanded on it which i enjoyed it was shane black so i sort of like knew what i was getting but then when ant-man couldn't say his own name without laughing or doctor strange couldn't wear his own costume without making a joke it started to get a bit old. I, I just want to be clear that I don't think that the problem with Marvel is that there's too many jokes. I know that that gets thrown around a lot, but I don't think that. I think that the problem with Marvel is that they're becoming predictably subversive. It happens a lot in Thor Ragnarok, but before I get into the criticisms of it, I do want to say that I enjoyed Thor Ragnarok. I thought it was good. I thought it was really fun. I've seen it twice. I think it's really impressive that Taika Waititi managed to get his own style. Like You can see his fingerprints all over a Marvel movie, and that is just... Is so impressive, so double thumbs up. However, it's very clear from the start of the film that the jokes are taking precedence over the story. Now, that wouldn't be a major problem if it wasn't for the subversion aspects. I think the first proper joke in it is where he's tied up in chains, and then when the bad guy is delivering his monologue and Thor just accidentally turns around, that was so funny. But then they just did it again. They just did the same joke. It wasn't even, it didn't change. And in the cinema I was in, you could feel the energy change. You could feel the first joke hit, and then when they repeated it, you could feel it completely fall flat. Then throughout the film, every time that there's potential for a cinematic moment, they just they just whip the rug from underneath you and go, hey, it's a joke. So that by the end of the film, you're so used to that, that one of the last jokes is Bruce Banner jumping out of the plane and you think he's gonna turn into the Hulk. Well, that's what they want you to think, but I knew he was just gonna hit the bridge. So I didn't find that bit funny. It's almost like, being subversive is the new established norm. At this point, I think it would be more unpredictable if they did just follow our expectations. Like if, if Hulk did just land on that bridge, I'd be like, oh, I thought they were gonna do a joke. And this is a problem, I think, for two reasons. Number one, obviously being that it's not subversive if we're all expecting a subversion. And the second and much larger problem is that if you're gonna sabotage every earnest or sentimental moment in your movie, I'm not gonna invest in the story or in the characters. It's like a wall goes up and you sort of emotionally detach yourself from the film because I've been hurt before. You know, I keep emotionally sort of giving myself to you and you just keep pushing me away. And I, I can't take it. It's, it's survival instincts. It's like when humans touch fire and went, oh, that's hot, so I won't keep doing that. And the film keeps going, look at this moment, care for this moment. Look, Thor's calming Hulk down. They're doing the thing from the Avengers too. I know it wasn't people's favorite bit, but it's quite sweet. Not really. That was a joke. And you were like, all right, fine. I won't emotionally attach myself to your characters or story then if that's what you want. In conclusion, <laughs> in conclusion, I either need to loosen up or Marvel needs to find a better balance for these things. Like maybe put a limit on it, like two subversive jokes per film rather than five per scene. Because I really want to care about your stories and about your characters, but I can't if you don't. Uh, you, Marvel, not, not you, the audience watching this. That was probably confusing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you know, just blow me a kiss while you're at it. That's nice. If you've got some opinions, which I'm sure you do, differing or otherwise, then please leave them in the comments below. And we can have a chat, but let's keep it civil, yeah? Because I know that we can get quite caught up in this whole Marvel DC thing, but they're, they're just films. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. But until next time, my name's Jack Howard and bye.